Hi, amazing friends. Let's solve for the value of x. First of all, what they have in common is 5 to the power of x. So we bring that out, okay? So we write 5 to the power of x, open brackets. When this is divided by itself, we have 1. Plus when this is divided by itself, we have 1 as well. When this is divided by this, we have another 1. When this is divided by this, we have another one, okay? Is equal to 56. Now we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. We give us 4, right? Okay, is equal to 56. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by 4, okay? Divide by 4. All right, so if we do that, we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 4, divided by 4, is equal to 56 divided by 4. Now, 4, we divide itself, and we have 1. 1 times 5 to the power of x, to give us 5 to the power of x, is equal to, when 4 divides 5, we have 1, 1 remainder, 1. 16 divided by 4, we give us 4. So, this is what we have. Now, if this is the first time you have seen us, click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, so that I don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos every day. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. So at this point, let us um, remember that at this point, because x is what we are looking for, we cannot solve this without the use of log or ln, okay? So let's introduce log to both sides of the equation. So if we do that, we have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 14. Now, when you have log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. So that means that we can write this, this as x multiplied by log 5 is equal to log 14. Now, let's divide both sides by log 4 log 5, sorry. So if we divide through by log 5, we have x log 5 divided by log 5 is equal to log 14 divided by log 5, okay? Now log 5, we divide itself, we have 1. 1 times x will give us x is equal to log 14 divided by log 5. Now, I want us to note, all right, note that 14 can be written as 7 times 2. So we can write this as x is equal to log 7 multiplied by 2 divided by log 5, okay? Now, when you have log a multiplied by b, this is equal to log a plus log b, okay? So... That means that we can write this as x is equal to log 7 plus log 2, everything divided by log 5. But remember that a plus b divided by c is equal to a divided by c plus b divided by c. So we can write this as x is equal to log 7 divided by log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 5, okay? Now, remember, okay? Recall that log A over log B is equal to log A base B. So, we can then write this as x is equal to log 7 base 5 plus log 2 base 5. And this is the value of x. Now, the most interesting aspect of this video is here. This is where I prove that the answer I got is correct. So I would like you to enjoy the show. Okay? So let's go ahead and prove that the answer we got is correct. Remember that we simplified this further as 4 multiplied by 5 to the power of x is equal to 56. So this is what I'm going to use to prove that the answer we got is right, okay? So we have 4 multiplied by 5. Remember that our x is log 
7 base 5 plus log 2 base 5. Okay, is this actually equal to 56? Now, I want us to remember a very important law in log reading. This says that A to the power of log B base A is equal to B. As long as this and this are the same, the answer is B. Okay, so let's relate it to what we have on the board. If we do that, we have 4 multiplied by, you see that this and this are equal. So it means that the whole of this is 7. So we have 7 plus. Now, the, oh, before that, before that, okay. Remember that when you have A to the power of B, A to the power of M plus N. Okay, this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Yeah, so that means that we can still simplify this as 5 to the power of log 7 base 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 2 base 5. Okay, is this really equal to 56? Now we are going to apply the law that I just explained. So if we apply that, we have four brackets. So this and this are the same. So the whole of this is seven. This and this are the same. The whole of this is two. Is this actually equal to 56? So what we have is four multiplied by 14, right? So we have four multiplied by 14. Is this actually equal to 56? Now, 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So you can see that 56 is equal to 56. And that proves that the answer we got is right. Thank you so much for watching.